Greetings everyone. God bless your heart real good. We come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. From God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ is alive and now sit on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. All right. Today I want to expose. Expose. Denounce. Rebuke. The doctrine of the devil, the false doctrine of God's love, the false doctrine of God's love. God's love is the new false doctrine. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll be all right. What do I mean by that? Um, am I saying God don't love you? No, I'm not saying that. No. I'm talking about the false doctrine of God's love. Here's the false doctrine. Then we go go to the truth. The false doctrine of God's love that's on the horizon now that we are hearing Number one, I'm sitting up looking at looking at this gospel singer explaining the false doctrine. I heard several preachers explain the false doctrine of God's love. Here is the false doctrine of God's love. God's love is false doctrine. Here is the doctrine. Yes, God loves you. Yes. But here's the doctrine. Devil, fall prophet, you said you would touch God Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Episcopalian, Gospel singers. You said devil, demon, fall prophet, hypocrite. You said God is love. And God love us even when we disobey Him. Even when, I heard a preacher say, even when we will for the Lord, continually disobey Him, He love us. All right. The other lie is, God is faithful even when we are not. God is faithful. Okay. I was walking in the park. And a, and, and a young, and a, young and, a, and a lady was walking and she was talking on the phone. Ministering that false doctrine to somebody else. God love us. Even when we mess up. I got a preacher for you. He said, especially when we mess up, he love us. All right. All right. All what we just said was false. Now, let's go to the Bible and see the real God's love. Let me quote the first one. Here's the real God's love. Woo! The real God love is this. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. The real God love is this. If you don't believe his son, if you don't repair your sin, if you don't have faith in his son, take away your sin. If you don't turn from your sin, here's the real God love. He loved you enough to send you to hell. Jesus said, Go ye to all the way, peace of God, for the heavenly creature, Mark 16, 15. He that believeth, and that baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. The real God love is you don't believe his son, you're going to be damned. You're going to hell. Fire your brimstone. That's the real God love. <coughs> The 
The real God love, love is it. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The real God love is you must be born again. The real God love is he sent his son. For you to stop sinning and disobeying him. You say, God love us even when we disobey. Even when we willfully disobey him. He favor us when we ain't favor. All right. Die in your sin. Die disobeying God. You're going to see how faithful God is. Yes, God is faithful. He faithful to do what he said he's going to do. Send you to hell. The soul that sinned and shall die. The weak shall be turned into hell. Long days they forget God. The real love of God. God love you to forgive you and wash your sin away. And tell you don't sin no more. That's the real love of God. Y'all don't say that. Y'all leave that out. Which makes it false. Which you get a part of. Hallelujah. Just like as Satan came and told Adam and Eve. Did God really say you was going to die? God didn't really be that. Not give it all the information. Here's the real love of God. Be perfect. That God love. Tell you what to do. Here's the real love of God. Whom the Lord loves, He tastes it. Here's the real love of God. Uh, repent or else I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Here's the real love of God. Every branch of me that don't bear fruit. He take it away. The real love of God. Here's the real love of God. I see you. The Holy Ghost see you. And the Holy Ghost would not have you ignorant, brethren. See, that's not the love of God they preach it. That, that's, the, that's the devil keeping you comfortable in your sin. God favor you when we ain't faithful. Give the real love of God. First John. Yeah. Five. Here's the real love of God. By this we know we love the children of God when we love God and keep the command. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandment. That's the love of God. Did you keep the commandment? I did. I didn't make it up. First John five, two, and three. That's the love of God. That we keep His commandment, not break His commandment. That's the love of God that you go and sin no more. He'll wash your sin away. Not keep on sinning. Let, let me let me show you that. Let me show you when you ain't faithful. God in favor you when we ain't favor. Let me show you the love of God for you that's not faithful. Let me show. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Hallelujah. Go to the book of Revelation twenty one. Let me show you the love of God when you ain't faithful. Twenty one and eight. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers. And sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake with burning with fire and brimstone, which is second death. That's the real love of God. That's the real love of God. Let me show you the real love of God. Corinthians 6. Let's look at the real love of God. Here's the real love of God. Corinthians 6. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Here's the real love of God. 
<laughs> All right, here we are. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? God love you enough to where he ain't going to let no unrighteous be up in the kingdom. He ain't going to let no unrighteous in here with us. Be not deceived. Here's the real love of God. I'm preaching right now. Be not deceived. Look at God talking. Be not deceived. Neither fornicator, idolaters, adulterers, effeminate, abusing themselves with mankind, uh, nor thieves, nor covenant, nor drunkard, nor reviler, nor extortioner shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but not, but ye are washed. The real love of God wash you from your sin through Jesus Christ's blood. That's the real love of God. The real love of God is to take you out of your sin. To turn you from your sin. That's the real love of God. Alright, we better go to the book of Acts now. Uh, Acts 3. I think I want 20. What is it? Acts 3. I'm giving scripture here. 26. Unto you first God. Here's the real love of God. Having raised up his own son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning every turning away every one of you from his iniquities. That's the real love of God. Jesus came to turn you, he sent his son to turn you from your iniquity. That's the real love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, yeah. That's the real love of God. Not what y'all talking. Well, God favor even when we ain't. Even when we mess up. We willfully mess up. God still love us. Uh, yeah, and you going to, and, God, and the love of God sent me to tell you, you going to hell. And the love of God in the word lets you know, here's the love of God, to, so you won't have no excuse to let you know you going to hell. To let you know you need to repent. That's the real love of God. God ain't pleased with you sin. That's the real love of God. The false doctrine. Of the love of God. The love of God. The new false doctrine. That you ain't preaching. Alright. That's a that. Here what you better do. Repent of your sin. Believe on Lord Jesus Christ. Get in the love of God. Take advantage of the love of God before you drop in hell. All right. God bless you. Thank you for being here.